right, it is the morning of third, second day, third day, third day. Lost, I've lost, lost track of time. We're all packed up from night two. We got Matt in the lead because he sets a much better and realistic pace than I do. We've just about come to Rose River Falls. You can probably hear it if the microphone's picking it up. Uh, Rose River Falls is about, I think it's 60-ish or 70-ish feet. I'll put the exact number in. Yeah, there is a uh, swimming hole at the base of it, so maybe not in October, but in the summer, if you work your way out here, take yourself a nice little Although I'll be honest right now, given how warm I feel, I'm tempted to see what it's like, but not that tempted. All right, so we are leaving, I believe the Rose River Loop Trail. It might have been something else at that point, quite honestly. I'll put a, a note in whatever that trail we just came off of was, but. We're now on a horse trail. I forget which one this is. I've seen a lot of people uh, out here today, and it is a Saturday morning. It's beautiful weather. You really would be hard pressed to ask for much better. And of course, if they're headed down to either Rose River or if they go further to Dark Hollow, some beautiful waterfalls to take in. So, good day for that. Still on the horse trail, we're about to cross over the Rose River. Seems like we've been either following that or weaving in between sides for a while. We've been uh, following some horse trails here and there, as well as some of the other trails. And it seems the majority of horse trails are marked with yellow blazes. And that reminds me of a time when I was younger, just exploring the woods behind our house. A lot of the land out there was posted, so it was either marked with you know, fluorescent tape or posted signs, or sometimes just uh, blazes of, of a different kind. And one day when we were exploring, wasn't quite sure where I was. It was not an extremely remote place. I thought I was following or headed toward a yellow blaze, thinking surely that must be somebody's proper property line and then I can follow that and figure out where I am. But when I got up to it, it was just some kind of fluorescent fungus grown in the shape of a, of a rectangle. So that was no help whatsoever. It's curious sometimes the colors that they choose for blazes on a given trail. So we've made it out to Skyline Drive. Skyline is 105 miles from Waynesboro in the south to Front Royal in the north. It was designed to be the greatest single feature of uh, Shenandoah, or a little before 1933 actually. Uh, federally employed farmers and apple pickers who were looking for employment during times of drought were originally put to work, uh, working on the drive. And then in 1933, when the uh, Civilian Conservation Corps was formed, they also did work developing the drive. So we've crossed over Skyline Drive, and now we are on the Lower Hawksbill Trail. We've got uh, about a mile of uh, this until we hit the summit. So we are finally at the summit of Hawksbill Mountain. It is the highest peak in Shenandoah National Park, just over 4,000 feet. Most expansive views that we've gotten this, this trip. We 
We are coming down from Hawksbill, and now we are headed down the uh, Salamander Trail, and we'll take that for a bit. Salamander Trail! came to this little overlook off the AT. It's a nice little clearing to uh, check out some of the valley below us. Sand, but there's a there's one of the trails here. Female deer. Yeah, okay. Oh, I see him. Yeah. A couple of does. Just out for an evening snack, it looks like. Generally, don't seem terribly uh, concerned about us. But I suspect living in the Shenandoah region, they're used to that. Oh, there's three actually. It looks like maybe a, a mom and some yearlings, or maybe it's. Maybe they're older than that. Can't quite tell. I don't really want to bother them. There's four, actually. Okay. Wow, some of these guys blend in really well. Oh, there they go. I don't know if I spooked them or a voice from up ahead did, but either way, good way to close out the hike. We are just about within view of the parking area and ready to get out of these nasty clothes and into cotton and a shirt that hasn't been worn for three or four days straight. I lost count. Oh, she sees me. There we go. Camera's a little bit distant and I don't want to get much closer. I'll spook them, but try not to be a much of a pest to them. Yeah, actually, I think you're probably seeing a nice tree instead of the doe, but I'll walk up a little bit more. So you see a flash of white, that's why. There she is, hey. Yeah, she doesn't seem too concerned. And I'm on the trail, I'm not you know, chasing her down. I'll just keep walking and see what she does. Like I said, we are within spitting distance of the parking lot. Uh, last of this uphill push. <laughs> glad to be, uh, glad to be finished. Well, as always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch this far. And I uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I look forward to seeing you the next time out.